How's your competition, man? Uh, How's it going? Where do you finish? Oh, so Out. so we 499th place. Out of how many people? There was uh, 4,226. 4, what? In your team? Yeah, so the whole competition, the tournament, had 4,236. And we placed 499th. But we're going to find out today exactly the placement we're in. Because anything could change. We could go up, we could go down. Good, though. 400 and that's got 400,000 or something. Yeah, so 4,000 teams. We got yeah. top 500. Got yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, I feel like we did okay. I suppose the more you do, the better you, more, like, chances you get, really. You get more quick kills. That's something that I experienced, too, is I noticed... Better, better the game. Better at the game. Yes, and that's you something that I noticed, better. is that a lot of the other teams, they were putting in maximum amount of, of games. So they would play, I don't know, 20 hours a day. They would take a nap on the, at their gaming chair for like an hour or two, and then they'll get straight back on it and play more and more. And they did like, I don't know, thousands of games to so that 10 games could be, their 10 top games could be sent to Activision or to this gaming company so that they, they could uh, put it in the, the point I section. I used to play probably about 20, 27 hours. I didn't go to sleep for day, nearly days. I played Activision Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, just like that. Yeah. That was my lot. And I think the problem that we had was we weren't doing that. We were playing for like six to eight hours a day, and then we would just give up, and then we would come on the next day. And we would show up the next day and for a couple of hours. We weren't really dedicated, and yeah, that really that, showed. That your, your like, ranking would have gone up because you, if you were putting in the hours. Well, you're obviously going to get better at the game and you get more kills. Yeah, that's exactly it. We, we, we could have been a lot higher, uh, but we didn't really realise that we had to put in that many games. So for next time, we're going to definitely do a lot, lot more grinding at the game. We're going to put in thousands of games. If it takes the whole weekend, so fuck it. What was the age range? Uh, for, for what? For competitors or for in the team? Yeah, like... Average age range out of everyone, I don't know. You mean for everybody? Yeah, like if oh the average the average age range out of all of you. Uh, uh so you mean the, the tournament? That out of like your team. Oh, my team. So like I don't know, like you get like sixteen, you get eighteen. So it, it it was in I would say average age range was about like the teens. And uh, still, at that age, you just seem to have more time. It's not always there. about the age. It's about the experience. Because so you've got to think of the age when I used to... When you were at school, you have all the time in the world. You normally find the younger players, they're better than the older players because they've just got all the time in the world. They ain't got worried about jobs. You've got school. Yeah. You're probably off school to fucking play that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, yeah, these guys put in the time, and you know, I could have actually potential professional players in my team right now, and I don't even realise it. And you know, they could be upcoming pros. I yeah, don't, you don't know. That's what I, I mean. don't know. You could have someone who could be the next fucking top gamer. Yeah. Like 2023. You you never know. You don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, that's the thing, man. So, I mean, from what I've seen, these guys are getting really decent amount of kills. And their tactics are pretty good. And I think if they had the right, like, gaming manager slash a team behind them, supporting them, they could be big. They could be massive. They could blow up. I'm just saying, like... So, you know, like you said, it's best to recruit... 
when they're like getting into gaming versus when they're actually in gaming. Once they're in the gaming, they're hard to get because they've already got a team, multiple teams. You need to get these guys while they're not in a team, you know, and you see the potential in them and then you just groom them. Is there anything else you want to ask me about how the tournament went? Um, how, how much was it again? $600,000. Yeah, so how it works was it, it, it's $600,000 in the prize pool, and then they separate it down the middle of $300,000. So $300,000 will go to Europe, and then another $300,000 will go to America, so North America. And then I believe you only get $50,000 per person um, if you get first place. And if you get last place, you get like $1,000 per person or $3,000 per person or something like that. Still all right, mate. Yeah. But getting there is difficult because you're up against the best players in the world and you're up against the most cheaters in the world. You've got two different types of players. And you're just thrown into it with all these players. It's very frustrating. For me, it, this whole process, this tournament was very frustrating. Um, at times I would get annoyed. At times I was happy. I will be like, let's go. And there's times I'd be like, oh shit, we just lost to that easy team. And I don't know how the hell we did. So it's, you know what I mean? Like, playing and managing in the team has been kind of strange. I'll be honest with you, man. Yeah, still, still good though. Yeah, I think it's all right. I think we could do better, but I mean, Rome, it's Rome right. wasn't built in a day. Hey, it wasn't. Rome wasn't built in a day. No, no, no. But if there was enough people to show up to build Rome, it would have got done in a day. So support is crucial, people. If you guys know that we're doing this fucking tournament, next tournament, please show up. This isn't a clickbait video. This is a real tournament we're in. All right, I need maximum support from you guys. Like, shares, Good comments, vibes. tell your friends and mates to show up. Good vibes you're in the chat. Bet, you're not betting money, you win it for free. It's a free tournament okay. and there's a lot of money on the line. And you know, to have a comment section blown up with support would have made it a little bit easier to want to push harder and be more motivated. You know, I'm sorry that a lot of us, myself included, we didn't have enough self-motivation and we didn't really know how the tournament ran. So we were trying to just understand it and get our motivation up at the same time. But now we know the scale we need to be at for next time. So I'm excited to do the next tournament. Is there anything else, Adam, yeah. you wanted to ask that me? Sounds, that sounds good. Good actually. Why wasn't that around when I used to play gaming? Uh, they did oh. have it, but it was like you couldn't do it online. It, you had to physically go to a gaming convention center and then they would host the gaming events with money prizes and all this and that to battle out for the best team. Wow. Yeah, that's before everything went um. online. Now you can qualify online, which is an issue because you know, like I said, You've got the cheaters as well as the crack players, the best players. So you've got both you're competing against. Not really fair, but nowadays yeah, everything is online. Then you move the Call of Duty, didn't they? Not the Call of Duty, I think it was the next one. It was different, but you could watch the replays and you could see if there was any cheating. Well, you can still today. Up. It's called spectating. And it saved the video. So you could well, no. Wait. So, when these guys are just are qualifying, they don't have to have a live stream yet. They only have a live stream for the next round. For the initial first round, they don't exactly have to live stream. I don't think because no, I don't think anyone's really watching. Uh, they yeah, YouTube yeah. while they're playing. I think it's just Imagine. when they qualify to the next round and the next round and the next round and they start watching. Imagine that then, people watching that. If I have to go live stream on the next round, and they're cheating. Then oh yeah, yeah, know. yeah! They're gonna see it, mate. They're gonna hundred percent see the cheat. Like, how can you qualify? Disqualify. When you got a handgun, can't shoot five miles, uh, five kilometers. 
Yeah, and that's something that they can do with the cheats. They can take a pistol and, and initially turn it into a sniper pistol. Yeah, that's crazy. Everybody knows that that weapon system is not capable of go, going over 50 meters without having a ding in their accuracy. So, you know yeah, I, mean? I know when I was, well, Fucking it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I, I quit scopes on with a 50 cal. You can't do that. That would have gone after the air. No, because we, know, we, we both know that the AX-50 sniper rifle 50 cal has a very slow down sight speed. Aim down sight speed called ADS speed. That thing is like a slug coming up. You cannot quick with that weapon. It just doesn't do it naturally. It doesn't do it. Yeah, uh, Same with the I HDR mean. sniper rifle. The HDR sniper rifle is shitty for a ADS. Aim down sight speed is like slug. You've already been sniped in the head already because they you're, you're, you're aiming and someone's already killed you. Because it's too bloody slow. You know? So for that's them to do they, a quick scope, they've they had to be using some hacks and That's why cheats. they don't use 50 cows to kill people because at the end of the day, the, is it the six point? No. Eight point okay, listen. So for a stationary target, forever. yes, you can do that. Not for a moving target. Listen, for a That's stationary it. target, yes. You're already at the aiming position. If you're already at the aiming position, all you have to do is scroll your optic onto a target, okay? If whether they're moving or they're stationary, you know? But if you're just running around the map and you say, oh, look, there's an enemy, and you pull up the sniper rifle, it's going to take fucking forever to shoot him. Because it's so slow. That guy's already gone out of your sight already by the time you've, you've aimed. Even if you yeah. scroll as well. Because you've got... You know... It's, it's, it just takes a long, long time. Uh, so a quick scope, which means you've just seen him and you shot him and he's dead. You can't really quick scope a 50 cal unless that you use an axe. Because it'll just, just miss him. It'll go past his shoulder or something. Rubbish. There was hacks on that game like mad. It's just like... There's no way I could have shot anyone in real life by doing that. Is there anything else you want to ask me about the tournament, man? Um, do you reckon you're you you got a big chance if you're you've got a more, lot more practicing? That's yeah. gonna make a lot of difference. Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot. Of, I, we got well, I would say a moderate amount of practicing. I, could we have got more? Yes. Could we have got less? Yes. We got about moderate. And I think we can apply it to the next tournament and do better, for sure. What is the next tournament? Um, I think there's a next one coming up in like a month or two. So if you guys are watching this and you would like to participate, just let me know in the comment section if you would like to be in the next tournament. Because our, our gaming team is officially registered with the league. So you just let me know and I'll try and get you in. First of all, I'll do tryouts to see how you perform. If I see you're mint, I'll bring you in. If I see you've got potential, I'll bring you in. Alright? Because we're going to make two gaming teams next time, not just one. Z Gamer, oh sorry, Z Gamers and Z Gamers 2. That sounds interesting. Good, good choice. Good name. Yeah. That way, they know who we are. And, you know, the more people know that we are, the more they want to do uh, business with us. Slash, like, talking about, like, wanting to, to subscribe, view, comment, wanting to sponsor, yaddy daddy daddy, all these things will come to you. Once they know your name, your brand name. All right, man. Yeah, well, I appreciate you. Uh, that's what you probably should say. Because you're, like, asking me questions. Yeah, know? yeah, no. It's good talking to you, man. And I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Anytime, anytime. I'll talk to you later on. I'll talk to you in the next one. All right.